Howdy, and welcome back to Disco Elysium. I keep wanting to call it Disco Asylum. I don't know why. Anyway, welcome back. We're here. We're doing it. We're on the radio talking to people. We were just told basically that I died or not by a doctor over the phone. Very strange. Just double checking that it is recording properly. Okay, could you connect me with the 41st PC? DVD, you a whole static crackling like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man. 10 2, 10 5. This is 41st uh, coming over. Well, this Scrawny French exists in this world. Sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, mm. with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. How do I know that? And this is the, uh, in tune with the police force or whatever the fuck. Uh, it's me! Here, I work at your station. Four, what's your status? Over. He's not good. 10, 18, 10, 20, over. Numbers mean nothing to me. Take your message, sir. Over. Uh, I'm a dire of a financial assistant. Four, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... Is it him? What does he want? Uh oh He says he needs money. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Fuck. They're right, on to me. Sir. That's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. Damn. Uh, did you grant me more money? Yeah. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Over. Nothing is... Mm. He says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Bitch. Uh, said, Who cares what this Vic Mayor said? Pull on their heartstring. Enough, officer. <laughs> this begging is below your dignity. I don't want to be here anymore. Go home. It's like a little kid at a sleepover. Um. <laughs> Oh, God, okay. What is he saying? Did you want anything else, sir? Many of your <laughs> colleagues are also here. <laughs> you really need to get <laughs> This is near a complete meltdown. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I had to hop for it. Let's address them now, sir. Over. <laughs> anyway, I need to report my badge is gone. <laughs> Nine, repeat message. Over. Yeah, it's gone. Cool. Message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. I mean, at least they seem to know who I am. It's a shame nobody's called me by name, so I don't know who the fuck I am yet, but... 1022 the captain. Oh, boy. This sounds bad. Bad and scary. Oh, no, hell like yeah. being called to the headmaster's office in school. Oh, joy. He's saying he lost his badge. Oh, joy. You what? He lost his badge? <sighs> Who lost his badge? Oh, God. <laughs> Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. He says, farting off laughter. You smart ass Dick little bitch. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Hmm. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. This is serious, guys. Come on. <laughs> Officer has lost his badge. Ha ha. Like I'm the first cop to ever his badge. Here we go, move on. I want to get it reported be done with it. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh, God damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Mullen dicked us. Am I Mullen? He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. <laughs> Satellite officer Vikmar conquers. Losing your badge is serious. Over. Oh boy. Ten four. I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me, Mac. Come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. 
What's going on? Super Cop here lost his badge. Isn't that the guy that glued his eyes shut? He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. <sighs> yeah, this exactly, yes. <laughs> I think lost patch for a moment. He asked you to piece up saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? The volcanic laughter. So what person was wondering if you found your badge yet. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think like this. Oh, no. <laughs> I failed. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. Your laughter in the background. After nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. It would make it difficult for to hear you. Lights even for Captain Sober. Will you just tell me my real fucking name? Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. I never found a gun. Sergeant Thorson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Check your pockets. Check your <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> you don't know where it is, do you? <laughs> Don't have no, my gun! It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Oh, we gotta go back up to that fucking then room. Officer, you get my question. We were wondering about your gun. Over. Uh, yeah. Even Fuck. before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. I didn't lose my fun. Fuck it. I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not as fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not respected in my workplace. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. <laughs> the fuck you hell? are a gun. I am a gun. The biggest one in the world. Well, that's some confidence for a guy who had a heart attack reaching for a ceiling fan. Oh. Request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. The fuck is a plasma gun? It's massive, got flared cooling vents along the front, hydro flask sticking out too. What are you packing? <laughs> it's a gun, what can I say? Really the goddamn murder weapon, you know what they are. Bang, bang. Trick question, I'm a mortal artist, my body is one gun. Look, I don't have it, alright. I'm going to describe whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> then I'm come again, please. Over. It's got a magnetic accelerator and arc... That accelerates the energized ball of periwinkle blue hydrogen based plasma to near light speed. Um, I'm going to need to put you on speaker for a second. Over. <laughs> the officer is describing his genitalia in exaggerated terms. Over. What? <laughs> Host in heaven. Did he lose his gun and his mind? Dear God, he lost his gun? Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> you glued your fucking eyes shut. <laughs> this isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself. But this go here, I didn't piss his pants. Wait, is my name Disco? <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass. I'm not going to. Ask him. Oh. Ask Sergeant him. Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. If this is missing too, now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. I was in his mama's after I fucked her ass all night. Tell him that. <clears throat> That's a negative. Not going to say that. Over. Bitch. What's he saying? He uh he said he should have made your mama. The prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. I'm sure she's real proud of her son who is a full-grown adult and glued his eyes shut. I apologize right now. <laughs> I ain't apologizing for shit. The firewalker. Where did I get Firewalker from? Where did that come from? You shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. The fuck is a firewalker? Satellite officer V. Um, I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. Firewater? Fire He's lost it. Fuck it. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. 
That's the only thing that matters. What about the corpse in the tree? Satellite officer. I think I'm good. I'm all good without my gun. Thanks. <laughs> they would lose their shit. I'm going to report that you are in pursuit of your service weapon. Over. Oh, fine. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> ten four, sir. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. Mm hmm. What's there to think? I need information, not fear. Mm, be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. He is clearly not! <laughs> Ten four, sir. I'm not hearing your question. Uh, I want to know if you got my badge description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Name, rate, date of birth. Heard of you, my full name in the future. Any news about my uh, family? Have I ever told you about my life? Mm. That's a negative, so I got a 10 12 here. Over. I'm asking everything. There you got my badge description. Do, 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 do. This is probably the sneakiest way to do this. Let's be smart about it. it tell me to be smart. Oh, yes. The nine repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Uh, <laughs> what? What is it? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Is my name Mullen? Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. Fuck's sake, man. I'm gone. Understood, sir. Over. Roger that. Ten, ten. Over and out. Jesus. Jesus. To the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Poudier. Around a dozen cops. Shit. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. How do I know this? What is going on here? Did what the fuck is happening? What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean, near the entrance. How do I know this? Yeah, Mulder's I am not there. All right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. You glued your eyes shut with super glue. Yeah, that's right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was... And he's also trying to get out of debt. Enough! None of this is funny. It's Damn, a little funny. He is. He's a cop. He's one of us. Goddamn this. Uh, why were you egging them on, you bitch? We must help him. Oh, wait. Minot looks down at her neatly polished black shoes. It's quite firm to her voice when she yeah? speaks. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him out the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on carrot juice? He's a lost man. It's a good thing a carriage still exists. I just know we can't give I have up no the idea. as we cast. You wouldn't. I really started feeling uncomfortable. Somebody's trying to slip out on notice. Man the door. You know Lock what he told hand. me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. Mm. How am I hearing this his conversation? He does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. I thought this was Or the anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold up the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? I want to know where the fuck I got the firewalker, Dean. It's so weird. Of course. What is the number, officer? 
Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. I was like that he was standing right here for that entire exchange. This is, hold on, officer. Hold on, officer. Start slapping a marching rhythm on your thighs. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. <laughs> Takes a bit to get to the phone. Just wait. Relax. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? This day it sounds like she's millions of miles away from here. How can you tell that over the phone? Uh, hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions about today's work. For this is me, detective for the world of rage. You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Ugh. There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. No question about it. What the fuck? <laughs> you can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled about talking to you again. She's fucking Indian, dude. What the fuck? You quit your job at the whirling? She quit her? I thought she just left for a few days. I don't think I said she would be back. Hey, do you want to grab a coffee with me? So maybe later. You mean, why did I leave the bar? Uh, not really comfortable. Really, mm. Not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Okay. What? No, why would you even think that? Please, don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. Uh -oh. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're mm -hmm. messing everything up again. No, not me. What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Garbage. Hmm. Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dog Workers Union. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. I'm the authority around here. Look like there's a limit to my authority. Tell me why exactly did a corpse hang from the tree in the barrier for weeks instead of calling us then? I'm clearly not the authority. I can barely fucking reach a ceiling fan. Um. I. I didn't want to get push her further. Show her the error of her ways. No, don't push her. It sounds as if she's about to cry. Oh. Oh, save your own skin. What others? The other people who live around here. Her voice is resigned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I understand. You don't, I understand. Here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with. Well, by the Union, internally. Mm-hmm. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. You do? Oh. What else can I do for you? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. Hmm. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just right. might take a while. Yeah, go on. You've seen my badge. I know who you are. You're a police officer. The law. You, you told me back in the whirling. You told everybody. And so does your badge. I don't need to hear about it anymore. So I made a big deal about it? Jeez. Oh, no. I haven't, sorry. Shit. Real policemen have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He's in plain clothes, voluntarily. It's different from not knowing where your uniform is. There are officers who <clears throat> wear the signature Perseus black uniforms to the highest ranks in the RCM and end up buried in them as well. Others do it more casually. Looks like you're one of them. That's the random lady. Have she seen my gun? No, not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun, detective. 
people. <laughs> trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating and... It's not... Sounds like it's going to be bad. Do you really want to Oh, boy, what did I do? You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. Some poor sod was uh -oh. trying to eat his pudding while you were screaming, spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Spat some in his food. I don't think he touched it after. People tried to back away from you or even slip out of the door, mm. but you screamed. I am the goddamned law, and you have to listen to me. Oh, you are all no. suspects in a murder investigation. I would love to say... <laughs> what happened to my... Yeah, hmm. Me neither. Mm. No idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead. Saying things like, big bucks cannot lie, and guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. I had money? It almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me... I did not ask. Wait, how did I go from waving the gun around to immediately waving money from pawn? Did I pawn it in the same fucking room? Is there a pawn shop in that hotel? Uniform. I, I never saw you in any uniform. You had your things on. The disco things. Disco. Somewhere in a dank rental apartment, two police officers stand in the dark. Trash and liquor bottles cover the floor. Things are not good. What? One of the men, trying not to slip on old newspapers, makes his way to the window and pulls the curtains apart. Roaches scatter as the light comes in. Mm -hmm. God damn. Officer Michelle Elfboy Williams oh speaks to himself. His partner, Sundance Fisher, looks at the patrol uniform he's wearing, then at an identical suit frame on the wall. It's blue and covered in dust. Let's get the fuck out of there. He turns to Williams. He hasn't been here in days. Hmm. No, absolutely. Uh oh. Oh. I shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> I do hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. Tell Astrout, you asked her out. I should have asked her out. Yes. You have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working there. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time. And then the skua thing happened. The fuck is the skua thing? This made me want to quit. So you mean that I was the one who made you want to quit? The stuffed bird. The oh. great skua. You threw it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird. And laughing like a maniac. I mean, considering I did flying tackle an old lady while flipping the double birds, that does sound in character. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. <laughs> I love bird. I love to give him. Bitch bird, come on, come to <laughs> What am I screwing the... Bitch bird, come I have to click. It's such a horrible thing to say, but I have to do it. Okay, yeah. Oh, Franklin no. static. More <laughs> static, and yes, more of that sweet. Obviously, scary. The violence of your words. Oh my, she's scaring her. Fucking bird got what it deserved. Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. Oh, no. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. Like physically glued? I want to know what I did. You were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Uh oh. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. We go on by the OO. Mm. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. The hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. 
I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. What the fuck was I getting into? And then you screamed something about how you're actually a real cool guy, and no one understands it. One of the coolest guys there is. The coolest guy in Jamrock. Something about disco, too. It's not so bad. That sounds insane. And then I had to deal with your toilet. Oh, God. The one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. I, oh, the ones I had to wrench out of your toilet. I, damn it, I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. She's worried she might have accidentally done something bad. Then she remembers it's you. Oh. Especially when there's a hurricane loose, it's your fault for losing them. Not mine. There's a fucking hurricane going on too, Jesus Christ. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this, as if there was a reason you threw them away. Mmm. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. Well, draw the great panic of the end. Well, you're the worst ever much ever seen. Girl, loosen up a little. Don't you ever party. Don't you know that? Just apologize, man. That you've God, I God, it was horrible. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's pretend it never happened. Wait, really? No, this is absolutely not true. I like Gart. I no, I was actually flattered. I've always liked him. It was just bad timing. With the corpse and all that. Yeah, I can't believe anybody would be like, Oh, look, a corpse. This is a great time to ask a check out. There's a pause. You can almost see her on the other side. The telephone cord coiled around her index. I didn't know what to say to him later. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. <sighs> I should have told him, maybe. Uh, okay, but please don't mess it up. Please don't take out your gun or something. I'm looking for a song. All, all sorts of things. Some disco, rock too. So much disco and rock. Which one would that be? Sad. I think the one you mean is the smallest church in San San. Richard, that right up. Hmm. Interesting. You still have to find it, however. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Yeah, call her again immediately. Now. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna call it there, like for the day. I'm not gonna remember much. Auto save. Cool. Anyway, for now, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want, share it if you can, do what you want. This guy is a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Check out the Patreon support channel. I'll see you next time. Have fun.